Hello, Super Dirty Sisters. Happy February and Valentine's Day. Welcome to the special Valentine's Day week of Super Dirty Sisters. I realized belatedly I probably should have saved my um, romantic book recommendations video for this week, but I didn't know we were doing Valentine's Day theme this week, so I guess we're just going with two Valentine's Day weeks <laughs> on here with me. So today I decided to do the book boyfriend tag, which was originally started by Ray K Books. I'll put a link to the original tag in the description. I thought this would be a fun one to talk about my fictional book crushes. Just book crushes, because if I talk about all my fictional crushes, the list would be way too long. But yeah, just my book crushes. Um, I didn't follow the tag exactly though, because like, I don't know, I didn't really like all the questions. They didn't really fit my personal book crushes, because they're more... Their questions are more for like the the really protective, strong, brooding, paranormal book boyfriends, which I don't usually um, like those types. So I'm gonna make up some of my own questions. So I think I was I started out with the um, the original ones, but yeah, I'll put a link to the original tag anyway. So let's get started. So the first category is your most romantic book boyfriend. And I decided to assign this to Adrian Ivashkov from the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead, which is a spinoff of the Vampire Academy series, which I haven't read the original series, just a spinoff. And Adrian is, he's a, there's two type of vampires in these worlds, and I think they're called the Moroi and the Strugoi, and the Strugoi are the evil ones, and the Moroi are the good ones. And um, Adrian's a Moroi, so he's a good one, and he's just so sweet. Um, I haven't read this in a, quite a while, so I'm a little bit foggy on the details, but um, he has something called spirit power, uh, and this causes him to like almost get drunk on power sometimes. It's kind of hard to explain, especially since I haven't read it in a while and I don't really have time to go look it up right now. But um, when he is drunk with spirit power, he says the sweetest things to the female protagonist, her name is Sydney. He's just so romantic and sweet, and he loves her so much, and so he is the most romantic book boyfriend. The next one is Dark and Moody, Bad Boy with a Good Side, which I assigned to one of my favorites, Will Herondale, because Will is, he's really strong, he's a shadow hunter, so he hunts demons, and um, he believes he's under a curse, so he tries to push away all of his loved ones and make them all hate him, so he's really just awful asshole to everyone but then um he's also just in without the curse he's like the nicest guy and he really um loves tessa so i love will he's the dark and moody bad boy with the good side the next one is paranormal boyfriend which a lot of these are paranormal <laughs> but um i decided to pick one who didn't really have a category for him yet and i picked sam roth from the shiver series by maggie steve Otter, which was one of my original favorite series from a long time ago and um, Sam is a werewolf and he's just so sweet and cute um, I don't even know how to describe him um, squishy and emo he describes himself as <laughs> he writes songs and I don't know I just I've always loved Sam he's awesome the next one is your soulmate so I decided to pick the book character that I feel like I would most likely date in real life if I were going to date any one of these and get along the best with, and that is Cricket Bell from Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Cricket is a nerd, he's a science geek, he's awkward, he's shy, he's cute, he bakes, he has nice fashion sense, like, pretty much my dream guy, so Cricket Bell is my soulmate. The next one is Boyfriend You'd Venture Anywhere With, and I decided to pick Etienne St. Clair from Anne and Fresh Kiss, by, also by Stephanie Perkins, because Etienne is a history nerd, so I feel like if we were going to travel together, he would know a lot of interesting facts about the place we were going and have a lot of history to tell me, and he'd be fun to go to museums with, and also he's lived in Paris, so he has some travel smarts already. Boyfriend You'd Want to Be Stranded on a Deserted Island With. I picked Frank Hardy from the Hardy Boys. <laughs> I love the Hardy Boys because um, 
he's very resourceful and good at getting out of tough situations, and I feel like he'd probably know random stuff like how to survive on a desert island, because the Hardy Boys just know everything. They can get themselves out of any tough situation with anything, so I would trust Frank to be a good desert island companion. Okay, and then now I, here's where I started to make up my own question. So the next one is boyfriend you'd want to take home to meet your parents. And I picked Liam Stewart from the Darkest Mind series because Liam is so polite and charming. He's southern. He's just adorable and sweet. So I feel like Liam could charm the pants off of anyone. And so he's the nice, polite boyfriend I would want to take home to meet my parents. Boyfriend who makes you laugh or smile the most. That would have to go to Levi from Fangirl. I'm not sure of his last name, but I think it might be Stewart, which is kind of funny because I had Liam Stewart and now Levi Stewart. But yeah. Levi is so happy all the time, and he just loves everything and people, and he's just a giant ball of sunshine, and I feel like if I were dating Levi, I would just be laughing and smiling all the time. The next one is boyfriend who would plan the best dates, and I picked Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars, because when um, he and Hazel go to Amsterdam, or he's like telling her that they're going to go to Amsterdam, he plans that super elaborate thing with all the Dutch food, and I just think that's so cute. I feel like he'd be really creative at planning dates. And the final one is boyfriend who you would have the best witty banter with, and I picked William Darcy from Pride and Prejudice because he is very strong-willed, and I feel like he and Elizabeth banter all the time, so I feel like if I were dating him, we'd also banter. So that's it. Those are all the questions. There are only ten. I have a lot of book crushes, but... Um, I don't want to like make this video too long so we'll just go with those 10 and yeah check out the original tag if you want and I hope you guys all have a very excellent Valentine's Day show yourself some love and buy yourself some candy or something and spend it with your family have fun and a good President's Day weekend too um, yeah I think that's about it I will talk to you guys next week bye too many book boyfriends you guys in the polygamous relationship with all these perfect fictional boys what am i gonna do